This is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we are going to do the project in the HTML section of Udacity's Grow with Google Challenge HTML section. Uh, it's called Mockup to Article. So what this is, is that we are given a mockup that looks like this. So you can see there's H1s, there's bolds, there's emphasis images links strike throughs there is superscript in here which i can never find when i'm looking for it it is right here superscript and and horizontal rule so basically what we need to do is recreate this so what you are going to do is in your project directory here you need to download this zip file unzip it and then I am going to be using Visual Studio Code which looks like this so here is my folder here Oops. let's close all that alright so this is what it looks like yeah. so it's mostly just text um, you don't need to worry about the template so they've already given the template you don't need to touch the head the body any of that all we have to do is mark up this code and let me change the wrapping here so we can see the whole thing all right so you need to mark up this code uh, you will notice that there is some markdown code here so we're going to need to deal with that uh, there's a couple of different ways we can do that uh, that i'm going to show you right now so uh, I'm going to copy this here. So this is markdown for a link. So this is the link path, and then this is the text that will show up on the link. So what I'm going to do is I will post uh, the link to this page uh, in the comments, in the uh, description rather. So what it does is you paste in some markdown code, you hit convert, and it converts it into HTML code. So we don't need the paragraph there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And replace that. So now we have our link. So we have one more of these, I believe. Maybe two. Let's see. Oh, we have two more. So let's grab this one here. Do the same thing. Jump over that page, paste that in, convert, and grab that. Copy, and paste. All right, and we have one more. So I said there's a couple of different ways to do this. So we can do it this way. You can install some uh, code or some application to do, do this for you. Uh, or we can just do it manually um, by by typing it in, uh, just changing it from Markdown to regular regular HTML. So I'm just going to do it this way since it's faster, and I already have it open. All right. So that's the last link, I believe. Control C. Paste. All right. Okay, I'm going to save that. So I save this and I'm going to open this in Chrome. So this is what it looks like so far. So not not great. Um, what we've done is change the markdown links to HTML links. So now you can see that they are links. Um, if you look at the bottom here, you can see that the links are there. All right, but what we want it to look like is this. So since I got the markdown out of here, uh, let's go ahead and start structuring the page. So first thing I'm going to do is, let's see, where are the H1s? I'm going to start doing the H1s. So this is an H1. This is maybe an H2. So uh, doing all the headings. So H1, maybe H2, we'll try that. This is probably H2. So let's go ahead and do that. So humans versus machines in AI Odyssey. 
So humans versus machines in AI Odyssey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut that using Control X. This is H1. So how I did that was I just typed in H1 tab and then automatically creates the opening and closing tags uh, using Visual Studio Code. And I'm just going to paste in the stuff that I just cut out. So let me go back here, refresh. All right, so we got an H1. Looking good so far. Oh, let me close that. Let me close this one also since we don't need that anymore. All right, so what's the next one? We need Triumph of Deep Blue. And that looks like it's going to be H2. So go back into here. Let's find Triumph of Deep Blue. Okay, Control X, H2, paste, save, and refresh. All right, good. What's the next one? Deep Minds AlphaGo. Deep Minds AlphaGo, so same thing. Control X, H2, tab, paste. Already and refresh. Okay, so that's done. So you're probably wondering why am I cutting this before I type in the tags? Um, it's just a little bit easier. Let me show you what happens if you don't. So if you put the cursor at the beginning of this line, if I type in H2 tab, then it creates the opening and closing tags right there, and then your content is actually on the outside. So I'm just saving a step of doing that beforehand so I don't have to do it like this. All right. So I actually don't want an H2 there, so I'm going to undo that. All right. We have our headings. So, next thing I'm going to do is everything else here is going to be a paragraph. So, this, 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 that. So basically anywhere a new, new there's a there's a break in the sentence. So luckily the f file that they gave us already has it broken out like that. So it's pretty easy to do to see from here. So I'm just going to do the same thing, but this is going to be a paragraph tag. So that's a p paste. All right. Control X p paste. Same thing here. X, P. All right, this one is an image, so I'm going to leave that guy alone for right now. I'm just doing the paragraphs. X, P. X. Let's see, this one looks a little messy, so let's figure out where this goes. So Deep Minds Alpha Go Go. So there needs to be a paragraph at that ends at go. So right here. XP. Okay. And I'm going to put an enter there just so that it's easier for you guys to see. I believe this is one and that's one. So. XP. Um, where does that one end? So that one ends at tree search. Tree search. Tree search. All right. XP. Okay. I'll put a break there since those break. So this uh, blank space in here doesn't actually do anything. It's just for us to be able to see it easier on this video since there's quite a few paragraph elements here. The game. So the game and then all the way to moves. So the game to here. P. OK. Oops. The next one is put and then to machines. Put 
to machines. Oops. X. And that looks good. And I think that's all the paragraphs. And then this one, let's just put a paragraph tag around that guy too. X, P. All right. So this should be okay. Let's go save it and refresh. So it's looking better. So that looks like we got it. So Christopher, breaking news, and there's going to be image there. Perhaps deep minds. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and I'm going to actually since I did a lot, I'm going to clean up my code a little bit. So Visual Studio Code has a thing if you right click anywhere in the document and hit format document, it will try to fix it for you. So it'll do all the indentations and stuff like that to make it look better. But I'm going to try to make it even more clean. So when you have an element where it's just a single line here. This is okay, putting the opening and closing tag with the element all on the same thing, on the same line. But when you have something like this, it's kind of hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And you see how all I'm doing is putting my cursor there and hitting enter. And then putting my cursor here and hitting enter. You see how the tags are automatically going in line. So can you see this line going down? So the tag it very clearly shows you where it starts and where it ends. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So this is very good to do if you have multi lines of code within a tag so that you can easily see where your stuff starts and where your stuff ends. So there's that and this one. Okay, so that looks a lot more readable code-wise. I'm going to show you that if I refresh this page, it doesn't do anything. This is just for our use in the code. Let's go back to here. All right, so let's do the next thing. So let's make this. This is called a horizontal rule, so it's basically just a line that goes across horizontally on the page, and that's going to go right above here. So to do that, it's very simple. Let's put another break here just so for readability. Just HR. Oops, I hit caps lock. HR and then hit tab. There's no closing tag for this guy because there's never any going to be anything inside of it. So save it, refresh. So now you can see you got that line that goes all the way across there. So that's called a horizontal rule. OK, what should we do next? Let's do this image. So this image, we're going to do it similar to how we did all the other elements for the P elements. So I'm going to cut this uh, IMG, hit tab, and then it gives you all this awesome stuff. So you got the source, which you're going to paste in, and then the alt, uh, let's just call this Udacity image, and then save. Let's go look at that. So now we have an image in there. All right. So I think we got the major items done. So we just need to do some more formatting here. Let's see. Three links. OK. Let's do this one. So this is a superscript. So you probably do not know the code, the, the tag name for that. So I'm going to go, and I don't know either, so I'm going to go to the Mozilla Developer Element Reference. Let's just type in super. So superscript element. So it's just SUP. All right, so we're going to use that SUP element on the number one. And since it's just a number one, I'm just going to do this SUP. And then hit one, and I believe we have one more. One more right here. All 
All right, so you see how my cursor is at the end of the word here? If I just type in SUP and tab, it's not going to know what to do uh, because there's extra text there. So what you need to do is you need to put a space there, then type SUP, tab, hit the one, and then go back and get rid of that space so that you don't have it have the extra space in there. Let's go ahead and oops, wrong page. There we go. Refresh, and now you can see superscript. So here's one of them that we did, and then the other one is down here. All right, so it's looking pretty good. We need to do a few more things. So let's see. So it looks like we need to do italics on this or emphasis, and we need to do a strike through here. And it looks like this is bold and emphasis, and this is emphasis and with some bold. So looks like we have a lot of emphasis. So italics and emphasis are the same thing. So let's go ahead and do that first. So where was the first one? First one was the game of Go has long. The game of Go has long. Okay, so it's this section here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Cut, EM tab, and I'm going to hit enter, paste. So you see how when I hit enter, it automatically formatted it that way. Uh, so, like I said, makes it easier. Um, for this one, yeah, let's just leave it like that. I was thinking maybe just do this, but that looks kind of ugly, so. Let's go ahead and do this. So that looks better to me. So it's up to you. Um, it's just readability. So you can choose what you want to do. So this one is done. So working from the bottom up, the bottom half of the page looks done. So it looks like we just need to take care of this and these guys. So let's go ahead and put some emphasis on this section here. So this is the breaking news and all the way to the picture. So, breaking news all the way to the picture. So the picture is here. So this is going to be wrapped in emphasis. So I'm going to cut this, EM, paste, and then that's done. And then I believe there's one more item. So the name needs emphasis on it too. So Christopher Watkins. Christopher Watkins. So this is on one line, so I'm not going to do my little formatting trick. I'm just going to type in M and paste, and that looks perfectly fine to me. All right, so I'm going to save that. Let's refresh this page. So we got emphasis here, emphasis here, and emphasis down here. So next thing, let's do the easy one. So we need bold on a couple of things. So Christopher Watkins needs to be bold also. And breaking news, so the stuff inside the asterisk needs to be, including the asterisk, needs to be bold. So let's do. Okay, remember bold is the same thing as strong, and strong is the preferred way to do it. So I am going to grab this name again, cut, and then let's see if this works. Strong. Okay, that worked fine. Paste. And then the other one was this stuff right here. Control X. Strong. Paste. All right, let's take a look. Refresh. So bold and emphasis, bold and emphasis, and that all looks good. So the last thing we need to do is the strike through for going to take over the world. So that's this bit right here. So let's look at the reference to find out what a strike through is. Strike S. Uh, let's see if there's something else. All right, strike. So strike element, strike through element. So that sounds exactly what we need. So let's find that guy. Let's find him, take over the world. So take over the world here.
cut, strike, tab, oops. So that one didn't work. Not sure why, but it's okay. Strike and it automatically created my closing tag even though it didn't know what the what the tag was. So let's save that. So let's make sure that works since that acted kind of funny. And refresh, and that looks like it worked. Uh, take over the world. So that's what we were supposed to change, right? Oh, going to take over the world. So I need to add the going word in there. Going to. So I need to add this bit here. Paste, save. All right. Let's try that again. All right. All right, and that looks like it. Let's double check side by side. So got headings, got this with emphasis and bold. The date looks fine. This looks good. Image, right. The strike through, good. We got three links here. We have one, two, three links here. This is emphasis, it's superscript here, and where's that other pesky superscript that I can never find? It's right there, Gary Kasparov. Gary Kasparov. All right, so that is it. This is the complete project. Uh, what is this called? This is called Mockup to Article. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe, like, and I will be back with more videos next time. All right, bye-bye.